Our top story, Miss Inglet joins us now live from outside the Banner County Courthouse where she's been sitting in the Brad Comfort trial. Misty, what do you have? All right, yeah, thank you, Matt. So today, the focus was once again on DNA evidence, but this time, the state did connect it to Brad Comfer. Cindy Hall, a forensic scientist from the Idaho State Police Lab, testified today. She tested DNA from the cigarette butt that police got from Comfer and compared it to the DNA swab from the print on the window at Nori's house. She says they were able to test 11 locations and it was a match to Comfer. Hall says, statistically, there is a less than one in 93 trillion trillion chance this DNA profile would match anyone other than Comfer. She also tested oral swabs from Comfer and they were a match to the window swabs with the same statistic. Also on the stand was Derek Cutler who worked at Sorensen Labs in 2014. He tested Nori's ring, multiple swabs from her sexual assault kit and her fingernail clippings. DNA samples were obtained from all of those. They were compared to DNA samples from Comfer, Real Wild, who was dating Nori at the time of her death, and Robert Spillett, who was an initial suspect. They all matched Comfer, and those samples excluded Wild and Spillett. Cutler stated it was 106 times more likely those samples would match Comfer's DNA than any other Caucasian male in the random population. Now, both experts did confirm DNA testing cannot show when a DNA sample is left on an object or how long it has been there. So the state has wrapped up. The defense will begin calling their witnesses and experts starting tomorrow morning. And something very important to note, the defense said today that they do plan to call Tori Adamchek to the stand. Now, if you remember, Tori Adamchek and Brian Draper were both convicted of murdering Cassie Jo Stoddard in Pocatello in 2006. I did learn last night that Tori Adamchik has been transferred from the state penitentiary and is now in custody in the Bannock County Jail. So we'll wait over the next couple of days to see when he's called to the stand what he has to say. Reporting live from the Bannock County Courthouse, I'm Misty Inglet. Matt, back to you.